So we'll look at part one. So you're given you're given the polar form. And this is easier than uh, you think. You need a calculator there. So using the calculator, what you do is you find the cost of pi over four. Pi, right, pi is 90. So that's 180 divided by four, all right? Doesn't matter, type it in, cost, fraction, hit the fraction button, pi over four. Two squared over two. Yeah, so square root of two over two, yeah? Plus, if you get the sine of pi over, uh, pi over four, you'll get root two over two, yeah? yeah. Remember, square root, square root of three over two, I have these done out, so. I just wanted you to have a look at that on the calculator. Square root of 3 over 2, square root of 3 over 2 over 1. What happens when you multiply this times this? Square root 32 times square root of 2 is the square root of 64. Over 1 times 2 is 2. Square root of 64 over 2 plus square root of 32 times square root of 2 is square root of 64 over 1 times 2 is 2. And this is, uh, that's the i. Right, square root of 64 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 2, 4. Not too bad, is it? Right, we'll have a look at part, that was part 1. Part 2. We have 3. Cos pi plus i sine pi. Sorry, that's why I, wrote, I drew the, remember the circle I drew earlier? So this was 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, and 0, minus 1. Remember, cos comes first. C for cos, sine. Cos, sine, cos, sine, cos, sine. This is 0 degrees, 90, 90 180, 360. All right, you remember that unit circle from junior cert. All right, so we'll go around it. What's the cos, C for cos of zero is, will you look up? Look up. Cos of zero degrees is, what's the answer? I'm pointing at it. One. What's the sine of zero degrees? Zero. What's the cos? Zero. Of 90 degrees, zero. What's the sine of 90? One. one. What's the cos of 180? One. Minus one. What's the sine? What's the cos of zero of, uh, this is 270. What's the cos of 270? Zero. What's the sine of 270? What's the, the cos of 360? What's the sine of 360? Zero. zero. Right. So it's three times. Pi is? 180. So this is pi, remember, this is 2 pi. What's this? This is 90 is pi over? Remember? Pi over 2. This is pi. This is 3 pi over 2, or 1.5 pi. This is 2 pi, right? Right, so the cos of pi, cos, is minus 1 plus sine of pi. Zero. Hi. Multiply. Three times minus one. Minus three. three times zero. zero. Right. So x equals minus three, y equals zero. Sorry. Does that mean x equals minus three, y equals zero? X. Where do you see x? Oh yes. Sorry. Yeah. That's that's in complex notation form. That's right. Real and imaginary. Right, we'll do another one so. So having that unit circle there is very handy. Plus I <coughs> sine pi over two. Alright, so the cos. So two times, no need to write it down if you want to watch the video. Pi over two, the cos of pi over two is zero. Plus sine of pi over two is one I. Two times zero is nothing, plus 
Okay. What do they give you like 45 degrees? 45 degrees, which is out here. You can use your you can use your cut. Use your calculator. Right, part four. I'll do this and I'll. Uh, so 11 pi over 6 plus, you can use your calculator in this case, sine uh, 11 pi over 6. Right, so there's a, one way of looking at this, if you will look up for a second. Watch. So 6 over 6 pi is 180 but how many do I have I have 11 don't I so I have 6 over 6 and I have another 5 over 6 what fraction is left here 1 sixth all right so 1 sixth what's 1 sixth of pi of 180 degrees 30 all right Another way of writing that, so 180 over 6 is the same as, 180 is the same as, pi over 6. Or because um, if we forget about this part of the angle, if we start here and go in this direction, that's the plus direction. So this would be a minus direction. So this would be minus 30. So I can replace this with minus 30 if I like, I can replace it with minus pi over 6. Alright? So you can use, you use the calculator, yeah. So I can write it like this, 2 cos uh, minus pi over 6 or remember minus pi over 6 is the same as, or I can write it like this minus 30 plus i sine. All right, so you can get the cos of minus 30. So that's root 3 over 2 plus, and if you get the sine of minus 30, you get uh, minus a half i. All right, so if you multiply 2 times root 3 over 2, you get root 3. 2 times minus a half, minus 1. That's that answer.